Okay, so we've got a treat for you tonight. This is another vegetarian delight. Uh, it's called fetech. It's delicious. It's basically like a chickpea, like fried chickpeas with like tahini and yogurt, and it's just fucking sensational. So, first thing I'm going to do is make up a spice mix. I've usually got some of this in the cupboard, but I've used it all, so I'm going to start from scratch. About a teaspoon of black peppercorns, about two teaspoons of cumin seeds, one cinnamon stick. We go about that much. Uh, what else goes in? Cloves, 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 cloves. Cloves. Hello, Max. You're gonna help me, Spice Wizard. You help. You help? Okay. Okay, so some cloves. There's probably too many, actually. Maybe yeah. Ten cloves. Okay. So uh, all spice, which contrary to popular belief, is not all spices all at once. About half a teaspoon. Uh, nutmeg. Again, half a teaspoon. What else? Cardamom, half a teaspoon. Yeah, I help him. Yeah, no. Yeah, I'll tell you what. You grab this. This one. Don't eat it. We need to, oops, we need to tip it in the pot there. Good job. More. More? Okay, a bit more. I think that's a good idea, especially because we lost some on the floor. There we go. That will probably do us. And coriander seeds. About a teaspoon. Actually, a bit more. Okay, so that's my spice mix. Dry fry them for a while to get the flavours all delicious. Yeah, we don't need any more, buddy. I know you want to do it, but we don't need any more spices. What's this one? Human? No, thank you. So they'll just get a bit of heat into them, get the flavours aromatic, and crush them up in a mortar and pestle. Uh, and we're only going to use about three teaspoons of that mix in the actual dish. Um, and the rest will go in a jar for later. In the meantime, we serve this mess on like a platter of toasted Lebanese bread. Two slices should do it. But to toast them, just going to chuck them straight in the oven. That's already on like 160, so they can just go in there and keep an eye on them because. You want them toasted so they're firm, but they'll go brown, and then like a second later they'll start to burn and they'll be disgusting. So, can't use them if that happens. Look at all these people who come around for dinner, Max. Yep, right it's all good. Give it another second. I just took that up quick there, I wouldn't have seen it obviously because the camera wasn't pointing out. It was just a little bit of smoke coming off that. That's when you know it's good. I'm going to try and get all of this into here, crush it all up. So this is a bit of work, but trust me, once you've got this spice mix in the cupboard, you can use it in all sorts of things and it's just fabulous. And what you can do with it, a trick that I like, is for breakfast sometimes I make these what I call salmon pancakes. And so you make up like a really simple, simple salmon, uh, simple pancake mix. Chuck like a tin of salmon, just a small one, like 125 grams, and then chuck like a teaspoon of this in. Make pancakes with it. Serve it with lemon juice. It's a killer breakfast. My pestle's been broken by some little monkey, so that's really unfortunate, but we'll see what we can do. And I'll get the big bits of cinnamon bark out of here, and I'll get the, the ends of the cloves out of here as well. So this will just take me a while, guys. Hey, who's eating all about twisties? You don't need all of our twisties, Mac. What the hell are you eating all the damn twisties? Yeah, hey, just get our twisties. Just stop eating our bloody twisties, Mac. No. Yes. No. Yes. So I'm just going to try and pick out these chunks. Clove ends, get them out. No one wants to chew on a piece of clove unless they've got a shocking toothache. This is my spice mix, Bacharat. That's what it's called, I couldn't remember the name. Bacharat means spices. I'm gonna try and just get that in this jar. And like I say, we're only gonna use about three teaspoons of this, but that'll stay in the cupboard and be delicious for many a good thing later on. So, I need a large bowl. I need a large spoon. I need tahini. I've gotta shake the crap out of these because it all settles. 
pretty significant one. Really liquid on top and really goopy at the bottom. So just trying to get it as evenly mixed through as we can. Okay, so three good tablespoons of tahini. All for good measure. And five tablespoons of a good yogurt. And seriously, you've got to use a good yogurt. None of that sweet stuff. One. I'll call it two, three. And on that other one was two, so this is five. About five tablespoons of yogurt. Squeeze that all up. And that's the basis for the sauce that's going to go over it. How simple is that? Hmm, that's good. Okay, and then, actually, about chip on these guys. Still a bit bendy, but good. Okay, um, pause it there for one second. <laughs> <laughs> these flat breads are good now, nice and stiff, not too brown. That's what we want. So very, very hot. No. Where's that platter I just got out? God damn it. I just got a big platter out. <laughs> Here. I can just wait there patiently. So to make the guts of this meal, we're just gonna fry up some garlic. About two cloves of garlic in some olive oil. Oh, my dear, so sweet ears. I've got no meat in this tonight. Maybe that's why you're sweet ears. Like, where's my chicken, man? Grapes to munch, which is excellent. Is everyone happy? Okay. Garlic can go in this oil, which is already hot. Oh, don't want to burn that. Uh, a couple of bay leaves. Let's say two bay leaves. One, five more cloves. And this that cinnamon stick that I broke in half before. What the hell am I doing? A half of that. that can go in there. Fry that garlic up. It's already overcooking. Come on. And two tins of drained chickpeas are going into that. Hopefully I haven't ruined that garlic too much now it looks like it's just okay. So into that. Three teaspoons of baccarat. That'll do. Can go in the cupboard for delicious fishy breakfast some other time. And... Hold on, baccarat, is this the spice mix? That's, yes, yeah. it's the spice mix we made earlier. Yeah, right, and some stock. Which you could use a liquid stock if you wanted. You need about a cup of it, so I'm just going to put like a smallish teaspoon of this stuff because it's delicious and very flavoursome. And a cup of water. Let's pass the cup. Okay, get this up to heat. This is just gonna pull those spices all sort of infuse. The liquid will boil down. It'll still be a little watery at the end, that's fine, but it will be delicious. Okay, it'll take maybe five minutes to come up to steam. I'll see you after that. Alrighty, so this is boiling nicely. It smells bloody outrageous. I'm just gonna put this up to the back of the stove and we're gonna make like the garnish that's gonna go on this. That'll boil for about 10 minutes, maybe till the liquid sort of goes down by a third or so. Um, bring that one down, put this pot on. So what we're gonna do when we serve it is we're gonna drizzle a burnt butter sauce with slivered almonds over it. So, butter, doesn't have to be too much, not like my other recipes, let's say about 50 grams. Some rough chunks so it melts roughly evenly, otherwise some of it will be burnt butter and the other won't. Right. Delish. You get burnt butter by the butter will start to boil and froth, and then once it finishes frothing, it like sort of just stops suddenly, and then it starts to burn. And so you just let it go for a bit longer, just brown slightly, and then you don't. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait till the frothing stops, chuck in the almonds, give it another 30 seconds to a minute, and then get it off the heat. Chopping up a bunch of parsley because we're going to cover it in parsley. I don't know how much almonds that looks like heaps, but there's my parsley. There you go. I'm going to need that 
butter bubbling now, which is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want some parsley, Max? No. It's not ready yet. You don't even have to cook it, mate. What do you do? There's the bowl again. Bubbling away. You get the heat down just because you don't want to burn the crap out of it when it finally gets there. Man, that smells good, huh? Right, where's my beer? Oh, and the other thing I didn't know, you didn't have to watch me do it, but I just broke up that crispy Lebanese bread into some chunks. Make it like a base for a funky ass Lebanese nacho, which it's not. Butter, butter, butter. What do you think of it? You want to taste it? Yeah, it tastes pretty hot though. How about I dip a bit of the bread in? You want to try this one? Some bread and some of the sauce. Is that all right? It's alright. Okay, this butter stopped fizzing. See now it's going slightly brown. Well, so this has stopped fizzing and it's still got froth on top. I'm stirring it up, I'm not getting any more sort of fizz happening. So I'm going to pull it just about there. Chuck in these delicious stevedanas. Get them through. It's not quite as dark as I wanted, but I'll just leave it on the almonds for a little longer. And this is probably, yeah, this is looking good. So it's been on for about 10 minutes. So I will extract these bay leaves. i myself. The cinnamon stick. Get out of there. A couple of cloves in there. Fiddly business. Yeah, I did say this was simple, didn't I? Like, it's, it's simple in flavour and sort of in concept, but there's a lot of little sort of fiddly steps, I guess. Yeah, there's a lot of components, but seriously, 15 minutes and it makes an outrageously delicious thing. Damn it, lost it again. There it is. Okay, so my yogurt tahini mix. I'm gonna put two good dollops of it in there. Maybe three. Just gonna knock the heat down on that. Mix that through, so it's still a bit of liquid, but it's not too much like soup. Get that all happening. There's another clove, get out of there. And this thing, it doesn't matter if you serve it hot or cold or lukewarm, so it's really good for a summer's evening or whatever. How's this going? Perfect. Now we use it this. If that froth subsides, if I can make it subside. The beautiful golden colour and then you can just smell the burnt butter in there. That's just delicious. Just looks like froth, but it's it's delicious, trust me. Can come off as well. Um, then we'll assemble it. Off. Hi. Hello. Hello. Okay, a stack of delicious legumes. Just gonna splot this all over the place. Gonna splot this all over the place. Splot, splot, splot. Any vegetarians out there, man, don't fuck around. Just try this. Parsley. Plenty of it. Sweet paprika. Plenty of it. And this outrageous stuff. Where's that little spoon go? Here. Yeah. Just dribble this butter, scatter these delicious almonds. This is just a delicious thing. I wish you could smell the outrageous scents coming off this now. The extra little dribble of butter. That super burnt butter. Beauty! One plate of oh, wow. And you sit in the middle of the table, everyone digs in. Eat with your fingers. Like a real meal. Done. Thanks heaps, guys. Yeah.